This video is going to introduce people how to create an episode for a podcast in Anchor. Anchor, again, is the free software that you can use that is made by Spotify that enables you to create podcasts and their episodes directly in your web browser. So if you're just starting out with podcasts, this is a great choice as far as getting the hang of it. So what I've done here is I've already created a podcast channel, and now I'm ready to add some episodes. Now, up at the top here, you have a new episode button, which you can click on. There's two options here. I would advise that if you are brand new to making any form of podcasts or doing any sort of audio work, I would create an episode. This is an in-browser option. You don't have to download any special software. All you need is a microphone if you would like to add your own audio, for instance, similar to what I'm doing now. And you can utilize uh, different types of audio clips that are stored by Spotify. The quick upload, in case you really get into podcasting and you decide you want a little more control, so maybe you're using an open source software package like Audacity, you can record locally on your computer and then upload it and then edit it directly in Spotify. But for this video, we're going to go ahead and just create an episode so you can see the interface. Now, when you go ahead and create an episode, you're going to see this big kind of clicky droppy area that you can work with. So on the left hand side, you have a bunch of different options that you can work with as far as getting started with your episode. Anytime you want to just save your episode, you have that button up here whenever you're done. And then what is going to appear in here, you'll see in a moment, is different types of elements that you can preview through, you can rearrange, so on and so forth. So why don't we go ahead and get started here. So just to take you through here, you have record audio as far as the main episode here. So if you wanted to, you may have to allow, but then once you do that, we can go ahead and start recording. So here it's saying that I can go ahead and start recording. So right now it is recording what I'm saying, but also to make a note here, you can record up to 30 minutes. Now, one thing I would strongly advise, especially from an academic standpoint, which is kind of the focus of this video, I wouldn't go beyond five or 10 minutes, depending on your topic. Keep your audio pieces kind of bite sized for your students. If a student sees like a 30 minute uh, audio recording or even a 30 minute video, uh, it's going to drain them, especially since, you know, we're dealing with COVID, we're all kind of um, burnt out on multimedia. So keep it bite sized so that they can come back later. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording here. And you can see now that it's going to think for a little bit, process what I recorded there, but that's it. So I didn't have to download any type of software. It did it directly in the web browser. And now you see I've got that little plus symbol. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my episode. And so now you see it's popping up here in my episode. So let's talk a little bit about the next item here, the library. Anchor is actually going to store uh, audio that you've worked with in the past. So what I just recorded, if I needed to use it in a future uh, episode, I could. And then we have the music tab. The music tab, uh, you can actually come in and search for songs and artists. So if I wanted to find, oh, I don't know, um, one artist I'm kind of interested lately is Vinnie Marchi. And there we go. You can see that several pieces as far as this artist, it's popping up here. So uh, maybe I go ahead and choose to add to episode. Now, what's really, really nice about this is from a copyright standpoint, Spotify won't let you add like the entire audio piece here. Instead, what it'll do is it'll clip it at the 30 second marker. So, but also too, maybe I want to actually start my uh, podcast with that. So I can go ahead and as you can see the bunch of dots here, I can just click and rearrange here. Now, probably nothing that you might deal with, but if you wanted to, uh, you can set up your podcast that if folks wanted to ask a audio question prior to the podcast, you could. This can be a really great way from a teaching standpoint that 
you can share the podcast and ask students that, you know, once you listen, do you have any questions? So if a student's on the run, maybe they go ahead and they choose to share, you know, and just ask you a question. Then you can do a podcast where you're answering those questions. However, again, be careful. You are going to need to take into consideration hearing impaired students. You will need trans uh, transcription done if you want to be able to work in that manner. And the last tab here is transitions. These are kind of the short clips. These are special effects that you can do. So maybe for instance, oh, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead here, maybe choose heist. And I'm gonna to add to the episode there and that's how I'm gonna finish it out. At this point, you can preview your episode. I have my audio turned off right now just so that I'm not getting double feedback. Once you're happy with the episode, though, you can choose to save your episode. Anchor is going to think for a moment. It's going to kind of compile all of your elements here. And here we go. So I'm going to call this demo episode using anchor options. Example for using in browser anchor episode creation. And then you can actually set publish dates if you like, but I'm still in, we'll say I'm still in season one, episode two. You can come in here and change your artwork if you want. Anchor does give you some pre-made art, pre-made text. So this is all pre-made. I didn't design this. So if you're just like, I'm not an artist, don't worry. Anchor gives you that option. And then I can submit my episode for review here. It's going to think for a second and there we go. Now we're not so much concerned about Facebook and Twitter, Twitter or, you know, WordPress. So I'm going to X out of that. So, but here we actually can now see if I go back up under episodes, you can now see that I have my new episode popping up here, which I can view the episode details again, kind of come in, it'll show me the analytics. And from there, you've now published your first episode. So in future videos here, I will dive in a little bit deeper as far as how to embed, how to set up the RSS feed, but this is just getting you started.